Biotechnology and GM Foods. What are you thinking? Biotechnology is the use of living organisms to develop new products or processes and has long generated public controversy around some topics such as stem cells, genetic modification, cloning and animal uses. Genetically modified foods are foods that have been engineered using biotechnology techniques. That is, they have had their DNA changed by having bits removed or added from other sources to give them new traits. This is done to give the food new properties, such as being more resistant to drought, requiring less herbicides, or providing more nutrients. The concerns around GM food include unforeseen impacts on the environment or health and the control and ownership of patented food. It is helpful as a society to know where the broad community sits on GM foods. The Australian government has been carrying out studies on average every two years since 1999 to find out both what the public think about this technology and what drives these attitudes. Attitudes to GM foods and crops change over time, can change according to the food and type of GM, or even how questions are asked. But we can say, a small amount of people have large concerns about GM, and a large amount of people have small concerns. More people feel the benefits of GM outweigh the risks. Concerns about GM foods are similar to concerns about the use of pesticides and preservatives in foods. And our attitudes to GM is driven largely by values about science and the world around us. A lot of studies focus on what percentage of the public may or may not wish to eat genetically modified foods. But getting a definitive answer can actually be quite difficult as attitudes depend on many factors and how you ask the question may change the answers you get. It is more accurate to look at the questions from several different angles. Firstly, we can look at support for GM foods over time. Or rather than ask a simple yes or no question, we can look at degrees of support or rejection which is more in line with the breadth of attitudes that exist. Generally, we can say a small amount of people are either extremely positive or negative towards GM foods, while the bulk of the population are mixed or slightly positive. Or we can look at the relative support for GM foods compared to other foods. Where we find levels of concern or support lie just between pesticides in food and preservatives in foods. We also see a higher support for GM foods in processed foods than over GM fruits and vegetables. So the less processed a food is, the less GM food is considered acceptable. This all ties very closely to people's attitudes and values towards food, nature and technology. We can also look at what people think of different applications of genetically modified foods that show support increases if there are health outcomes or they are good for the environment and fall if they are developed by an overseas company. When cross-relating attitudes to GM food to values we find that people who are most concerned about GM foods tend to agree with statements such as scientific advances tend to benefit the rich more than they benefit the poor. Technological change happens too fast to keep up with. We should use more natural ways of farming. People shouldn't tamper with nature. And those most supporting of genetically modified foods tend to agree with statements such as science is such a big part of our lives that we should all take an interest and new technologies excite me more than they concern me. Attitudes to GM crops can be a little different to attitudes to GM foods though. 
About half of the population feel that the benefits of modifying genes to produce food outweigh the risks, while about one in six feel the risks outweigh the benefits. But about 60% of those who are opposed would change their mind if the crops could demonstrate that they provide positive outcomes for the environment or climate change, provided benefits to health and passed stringent health and environmental regulations. Conversely, about 70% of those in favour of growing genetically modified crops in their state said they would change their mind if the health and environmental benefits of the crops could not be established if long-term data was not available on the safety of the crops to humans and environment, or if there was evidence it would diminish Australia's economic competitiveness. So what does it all mean? To summarise, a small amount of people have large concerns about GM, and a large amount of people have small concerns. More people feel the benefits of GM outweigh the risks. Concerns about GM foods are similar to concerns about the use of pesticides and preservatives in food. And our attitudes to GM is driven largely by values about science and the world around us. So, our attitudes can be complex and difficult to accurately measure. But better understanding them helps us, as a society, make decisions about the uses of biotechnology that are more in line with what the community supports. More information on public attitudes to GM foods, stem cells, therapeutical cloning and government regulators are all covered in the new report, which you can find here.